Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Woo! get ready because the RU Garbage Boys are coming home to roost. Oh, yeah. October 27th, we're going to be at Helium Comedy Club. Get your tickets now. I promise you. Have I ever lied to you before? This puppy's going to sell out, and we don't want you to miss it. Yeah, don't be left out in the cold, guys. It's going to be a good time. Some live stand-up with me, Foley, T-Bone, maybe a special guest. Who knows? And then we play live AYG with the crowds. When you get there, you submit your questions. It's a good time. See you there. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show we sit down with your favorite comedians and we find out if they grew up to be classy. Yeah. Or if they're just a big old piece of trash. Oh, baby. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day down here, Aunt Tootie's basement. Yeah. Caught her getting ready for work this morning. Uh-huh. A sight I cannot unsee. Oh, boy. But I got something to tell you. Socks first. Socks first. Socks first on Tootie. So she's on the winning team. That's not Socks a good. Socks first gag. That's not a good team to be on if you're on Tootie's team. My co-host is coming at you from right across the table at me. This is a family episode. Yeah. He's looking very European today. I don't get it. Did you have your foreskin put back on? What's going on? <laughs> it grew back on its own, actually. <laughs> <laughs> like a skin tag. <laughs> it's like a newt. You cut its tail off. It keeps coming back. <laughs> Two of them grow. <laughs> if I could be so lucky. Would you take one big wiener or two little wieners? What if you had two little weenies? I mean, I got one little one now, so I'll take it. I'll double the pleasure if you want. I mean, what are we talking about here? <laughs> Kippy, you look very European in that. Uh, yeah, okay. I, uh, sure, I don't know. Very stylish, that. very cool, very suave. You should be drinking those weird bottles of water they have over there. <laughs> sure. An orangina. I hear that's big in <laughs> Europe. Hey, you're big everywhere. <laughs> All right. Kevin James Ryan, God damn it! Hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As yes, always, please. please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. <laughs> Full video available on YouTube, and as you know, those numbers are... True to roof. True the fucking roof, baby. Cooking, closing on 30 thou over there. Look out. And then, obviously, I would be a fucking jerk-off, an mm-hmm. asshole, mm-hmm. a piece of shit, Say a it, dummy. Brother. Say it. If I don't shout out the greatest website of all time, Woo! patreon.com slash are you garbage. Good Lord. Hold, give me your hand for one second. <laughs> Dear Lord in heaven, please watch over Mr. Jack Conti and Mr. Sam Yam and their families <laughs> for all that they have done for us. Love that money. Dear Lord, baby Woo! Jesus. <laughs> Sweet little Pray for everyone at Patreon.com. <laughs> Amen. Even down to the janitors, baby. Shout out to Patreon.com. Ooh, it takes a village to support a fat guy, I'll tell you that. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man, makes us all look good. Give yeah. it up for T Bone McMuffin. It's our good pal Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? T Bone. Oof, we got a. Uh, I'm so happy to be back. Although we do have uh, an admission to the fans out there. What? We went down to Texas and we stepped out. We changed it up. We're a Bucky's family now. Bucky's fam. And well, listen, when I'm up, when I'm up top, but when I'm on the top shelf of the, of the country. I'm going Wawa all day long. If I'm in the Northeast Corridor, Wawa. You get down there in Tejas. Get down there in Tejas. Got get my... down there in the Bible Belt. You got to mix in a little bit. I got my boots on, my spurs, my jingle jangles, the 10-gallon hat, 50-gallon for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Bucky's man through and through. Shout out to Bucky's. If you don't know Bucky's, it is a uh, convenience store, I guess. But that's not even doing it justice. No, they sell grills. Everything. Deer urine, grills, 40-odd buck. They got everything. Ammo, whole nine. <laughs> Go to the mattresses of Bucky's if you need to. Get some uh, get some sesame sticks and some shrapnel. <laughs> now I know why it was so hard to get those folks out of Waco. You know what I mean? <laughs> They're all jacked up on deer corn. <laughs> those Texas people are proud people, baby. <laughs> Got enough beef jerky to hold these feds off for years. Yeah. <laughs> Gang, this is a family episode. We are. We're back here at Tootie's. We were on the road for a little while. Woo! Down there in Texas, we had a great time. Shout out to Houston. Shout out to Austin. Shout out to San Antonio. And shout out to Fort Worth, Texas. We love you. We had a great time. Also, we'd be, yeah, Texas as well. But then Long Island was last night, baby. 
Bonkos. Shout out to everybody. Hey, if you've ever come out to a live show, if you've supported the pod, if you listen once, listen a thousand times, whatever, we appreciate all support. You're the fucking shit, baby. We do. It's been love amazing you. so far. We love you. We got a few more dates here coming up for the coming end of the year. Coming a couple of big dates. Come out strong. Yeah. Um, and then we're retiring. <laughs> Packing it in for 2022. We'll see you in 2023. He made four grand and walked away. <laughs> this is all I ever needed. <laughs> Lived in the basement of his mother's house. Uh, there you go. Good no. stuff. I'm a little scratchy. Yeah, we've had a we've had it's a not Covies. We, we, that's what you keep saying, which makes me think it's Covies. <laughs> <laughs> it's always the guy. It's not Covies. It's my allergies. Yeah, okay. We'll get off the ventilator, will you? I was <laughs> 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 playing that ventilator as a saxophone. Um, I was rocking a uh, a coldie down in Texas too. Yeah, that was a tough cold one. sore. Yeah, yeah herpa derp. Yeah. Herpa derp. Mm -hmm. Ooh, man, and just caught me slipping. To show the listener how big of a dirt ball you are. First day we get down there, we get the same. Thought I was brought here to have a nice time. It's <laughs> <laughs> rude. Uh, you immediately made fun of my little pee-pee in my intro. What are you talking about? I came here for a nice time, too, but you threw that out the window. And your shitty hoodie. Yeah, it's Nike. Shout out to Nike. I'm getting 50 bucks an episode to wear this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to great people at Nike. <laughs> um, what? Why am I a dirtbag? I mean, I know why. <laughs> what specific what you, reasons? What, are you you, what, what specific reasons are you about the name? <laughs> you choose. Um, we get that. We get down to San Antonio. We go off for a nice Mexican Mexican lunch. Mm. You got the cold sore, fucking gleaming on you. <laughs> it was hot then too. That's just when it was coming in. Oh uh, yeah. They're, they're, they're... I like its new shit better. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Save the hits. Give me the hits. Give me the new stuff. No, what happens is you start to feel it, and if you don't get on top of it right away, then it's just it's just gonna do its own thing. So we're it's like a teenager. <laughs> we're down there in Tejas figuring figuring itself out sexually too. <laughs> we're <t> we're <laughs> down there in Tejas having a nice lunch, and you're one of the big things that skeeves me out about you. I love you obviously, but one of the, you know where this is going. One of the big things that skeeves me out about you is your napkin use. It's all over the and you crumble. A gentleman will fall, will, you know, you take one, you go, and it's like, then it looks like you got a cold or you jerked off. It's just a bunch of crumpled up napkins on the table. It's like, there's no system. They're paper, and I, I don't do that with, with cloth napkins. I know. Well, if you took me to a respectable place, <laughs> I would have to use paper napkins. <laughs> Jesus Christ. This is my fault now. It, it was a restaurant covered in pinatas. It was. It was a Mexican place. <laughs> it was a Polish place. <laughs> but I... You got caught slipping. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> We're sitting. I'm sitting. At, from now on, I want you across from me. I don't want. I, I want to be able to. I want to be able to see you at all times. Hey, Wild Bill Cody. Never sit with your back to the door. So never sit with my back to a foley. I I place my napkin down. I like I I I place my napkin down. And then I eat. I'm, you know, have, I'm munching on some queso, some salt. I'm having a good time. That's sloppy stuff too. I was really working that nap. <laughs> <laughs> I think it was putting Playing it both sides against the middle with that thing. And I look down. And I grab my napkin to like dab my face like a fucking gentleman. I'll fucking have you know. <laughs> I got the corner going. You know, doing that thing. I and I got go, a herp staring back at you. I go. Hey, that's. Guy. I go. That's. That's not how I would have placed my napkin. Like I just know my, I know how I know my modus operandi. I know how I operate, and I go, I wouldn't. That's weird. But I pick it up, and against my better judgment, I use it. I use the napkin, and I'm like, did Foley use? In my head, I go, did Foley use? I go, no, you're being paranoid. This is your OCD. <laughs> Just relax. Have a good time. He wouldn't just randomly use a napkin that's not his and not realize it. I then look back, I put it down, I have another bite of my enchilada, my whatever, and I look back over, and you grab it and come up to your face, wipe the snot, the herpes, the salsa, the queso. It's like a homeless window washer. <laughs> the whole nine. And put it right back down, and I shit blood, dude. I fucking... <laughs> I got the big man coming. <laughs> I lost it. <laughs> we were, oh, you just boogered, dude. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Holy shit. This is why you're gross. Uh, I should be put down. <laughs> you just shot really a gummy should. bear out of your nose. <laughs> 
Ah. <laughs> Holy shit, we're getting our own we're getting separate tables from now on. <laughs> I want a sneeze guard between me and you moving forward. Mm. Oh yeah. Well, dude, I tell you And then you go and then and then now it, it you're in fact I'm like I'm now forced to live in his world, right? He then goes I got was my fucking napkin, man. You're using my fucking. I didn't know. Maybe I didn't. I didn't use it. That's yours. I'm like, that's my. I look over. He's got a mound of crumbled ones on his left, and he's using mine on the right because it's nice. It's like I'm writing a novel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the empty wastebasket. <laughs> Can't get it started. So then he goes, oh, I got a cold sore coming. What the fuck? Now and then I go. So then we're leaving, and <laughs> we you, you fucking juice up, you know, with the sanitizer on the way out, you know, just to fucking. And he goes, hey, man, I would put some of that on your lip just to kill anything that got on. I'm like, really? He's like, yeah, man. I look over. He's rubbing the fucking sanitizer on his mouth. So now I'm forced to play by his rules. I'm doing this. You got to nape that shit, bro. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> Agent Orange, that like motherfucker. Operation Rolling Thunder. Get that fucking herp off your I lip. mean, what a start to the trip. <clears throat> that was a little more hard feelings, but still. I'm starting to feel. Uh, okay, I'm starting to become aware of eating with other people at this point. Thanks. That I... <laughs> what the fuck? Now you, you, you decide to check in now? <laughs> that I might be a bit of a turnoff. Sure. Let's put it that way. And I think the more we eat, the more comfortable you get. Like, I think if you went out with, say, you, you know, your girlfriend's parents, you'd be very more reserved, I would presume. As somebody you're not or, trying to impress. It's not even that. It's I don't, I don't know what it is. I, I don't. I You're just gross. <laughs> I don't. I mean, you just had a booger come out of your nose, and we're not sure where it landed. May or may not. Be a booger. <laughs> Maybe it's in orbit. I don't know. <laughs> osmosis, Flying around my head. Osmosis Jones coming out of my nose. <sighs> Listen, I, I, I'm aware of it. I'm aware of the fact that I might be disgusting to eat in front. Well, in front I, of. I also think I think you stop. You With get the a beard now too, but you get enchiladas on. I think it's the food you get. You know, I'm like a shark. You get it's queso, a frenzy. and then you just go. I don't care what I and you're. You get a, you, the breathing pattern changes. The speed you look at. You're not making eye contact. The conversation goes to shit. It's like Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> <laughs> you're the loudest person at a dinner table who doesn't talk. Yeah. I see you working the food down your throat like an anaconda. You gotta, <laughs> you gotta reserve energy and shift gears. Found to... two villagers inside of me. <laughs> I cut them open. There's a boot in there. <laughs> Ate my watch. Yes, I'm aware. I, I mean, apologize. it's not even that. It's the, it's the every. I feel like everything goes black, and you, just, you, and you're using napkins. You're spit. You're eject a river. It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. It's a lot. It's a lot. From now on, I want you in my fucking twelve o'clock at all times. Keep my fucking eyes on. Starting at those long table like rich people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but then the problem is, a bell. if you're in front of me, then I'm fuck. I'm in. You know, I'm in point blank fucking spitting mode. Yeah. I can catch some fucking shrapnel this way. That's no good either. Also, too, I don't think that I chew with my mouth open, but you can see in there sometimes. It's not a good All look. All the time. I mean, every comment on the YouTube is about your mouth open. <laughs> Tongue's got a mind of its own, that thing. <laughs> I'm not hungry, but my tongue's starving. <laughs> Slides out. Uh, we had a great time, though. Great mm. fucking trip. It was awesome. Yeah, we a had a good laughs. time. A lot of laughs. Every one of my shirts came back ruined. I bought $100 worth of new T-shirts. I got shit on every Which single one. I, of them. I don't understand it. You've been wearing that blue palm tree one. In perpetuity. Dude, that thing's bulletproof. <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's like a fucking... That's, that's like a New York lawyer right there. Yeah. He, he had them, nothing sticks to that thing. <laughs> that, that's gotten me off a million times. Yeah. I don't know what it's made of. I don't know either. <laughs> that, the, the Mr. Clean Magic stuff or whatever? I don't know. But it ain't going anywhere. I'll tell you that right now. I read the... I heard the complaints. It fits me. It's comfortable. Covers my belly. I, okay. I don't know. Where's the? Mo Why don't you have more shirts? You keep saying I'm going to get some. I, I get do some. get them, and then I fucking every. How time many are you buying? Buy ten. I bought five, and I got stains on every single one. I'm telling you, I'm losing my motor skills here. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I'll battle with the big man. Jesus Christ. 
I apologize about the herpes. <laughs> Still got a couple days of that incub- <laughs> incubation period. I got, no- I got news. <laughs> I got a slow roller. <laughs> My guys don't move quick, but when they come, they come correct, all right? <laughs> I got a certain blend of herpes. <laughs> you better stay out of the sun for a couple of days. Holy shit. I'll tell you that. One of those pop up on you. Some questions. I'm answer. pretty. I'm pretty good. I don't. I don't think I get. I think like I'm like immune to them or what. Like it's just genetically, I don't get them. People mm. in my family have them. I don't. You know, I don't get them. It's re- talk about garbage, man. Mm. It's a tough look. You know, that's when. That's what. That's you have it. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You can feel it. Yeah, because like you spine. feel when they come out, you feel like trash. Yeah, and I never got them until high school. I got somebody bit me on the hand in a wrestling match, and then they p- started popping up. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's it's a bad. Could feeling. have been that of the two dollar whores you were sleeping with. <laughs> you feel in high school? I don't know. <laughs> it was funny in the moment, I guess. I don't know. Fucking hookers. But you feel them when they come out. They make you like tired. Right, now you're giving me a panic attack. Let's stop fucking talking about them. I'm gonna give myself. I already got the fucking heebie-jeebies in me from you. Oh man, you're a disgusting odd. You are. <laughs> <laughs> I am what I am. All right. Very nice. Let's get into some questions. Family app. Let's yeah. cover some ground here. As you know, when you join a Patreon, we will answer your garbage question. Yes, sir. We get submitted on fucking everywhere. Emails, DMs, the whole nine yard. This is just the best way to do it. Um, you know, we, and we got to, su- you know, support the crew, the Patreons. Oh, yes, sir. Um, so when you join, we will, shareholders. we'll answer your, the shareholders. That's pretty good. Of course. And also you came up, we should call the listeners the bozos. The bozos. That's pretty good, right? There you go. Yeah, the bozos. Yeah, I'm not too shabby sometimes, huh? I have a couple of good ideas. I, I, mean, never, sure, I, I never said you, you can be gross and have good ideas. Sure, I can't eat a bowl of soup in public, but still, <laughs> I get everything on me. No matter how hard I try, I get stuff on me. I know. I know. I know. I and I, know. I, you know what I think it is? I got to figure out if anybody knows any secret stain solutions. No, let's hit let, me let's up. Let's not. Let's. You're. You've already decided to live a life where you're just going to get. How about we change some of the eating patterns and stuff like that? No, nah, let's go the other way. We tried <laughs> that this summer. Let's let's hit the gas. Baby. Which, by the way, we got a fucking a fat court weigh in coming tomorrow. Mm-mm. Yes, one hundred percent. I don't care if you have to fast from now till then to try to fucking juice the numbers. It's fucking happening, okay? I'm your, I'm your fat court parole officer. <clears throat> You've been fucking ducking me. You've been missing your calls, your check-ins, your fucking piss test. It's happening tomorrow. I got a little glimpse at the, at the pulmonologist uh, yesterday. It ain't good? <laughs> All right, well, we'll talk. Save it. Save it for the pot. All right, that'll be tomorrow. We'll, we'll fucking record Somebody it. get me Johnny Cochran on the phone. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna, you better cut a leg off or something. Because you're going to need it. <laughs> if the pants don't fit, you must have quit. All right, let's, uh, let's get into some. Let's get into some. <laughs> Kip, let's talk about those Raycon Everyday Earbuds. Because I'm an owner. Yes. Got a pair. Of course. Stay charged for a long time. Yep. Sound fantastic. They look cool. They fit in your ears nice. They mm-hmm. don't slip out. Love, love my Raycons. Raycons have improved your life and my life because you were walking around like a bozo without without any sort of headphones, nothing. Now, I take calls. I can do things on, on, on right there. I can turn my volume up. I can mm-hmm. pause the music. I can do this. I can do that. They're fantastic. Yeah, you're Johnny Cool Guy all of a sudden. That's right. Um, and now you can get three new sound profiles to make sure everything you're listening to sounds its best, just the right amount of bass. Uh, there's pure mode for podcast listening, balance mode uh, for rock, heavy metal, bass mode. Hit the mega bass. No, I don't even know about this. Now you get your hip hop, your EDM, you a big EDM kind of guy. Really? Sometimes. When the groove hits, the groove sure, hits. Sure, of course. I got to check this out. Yeah. Um, they have eight hours of playtime and a 32 hour battery life. That's pretty dumb. I, I feel like it's longer. They're unbelievable. They really are. Um, and Raycon started half the price of other premium half auto audio brands, but sound just as good. Also come with a 45 day happiness guarantee. Who else is doing that? Nobody. Nobody. Right now, uh, RU Garbage listeners can get 15% off the Raycon order at buyraycon.com slash garbage. Oh. That's buyraycon.com slash garbage to save 15% on Raycons. One more time, write it down. Buyraycon.com slash garbage. 
Do it. Do it. Kip, let's talk about dad grass, baby. Dad grass? Dad grass Ooh. CBD. Absolutely amazing product. Mm-hmm. You ever get too smoked up back in the day? Back in the day. That's, yeah. why, I stopped, that's why I stopped hitting the cheetah. Get all paranoid? Paranoid. Think the feds are closing in? Don't need it anymore. You can clear your head. You can relax with dad grass CBD and not worry about the stress and the paranoia. Mm-hmm. Nothing but enjoyment, baby. Oh, baby. Best part about it, dad grass is legal, organic, smoke hemp relax you wind you down nice easy peasy um all dad grass products are federally legal for ages 21 and over and ships right to your door anywhere in the u.s look at that whether you're looking for a new buzz or a chill way to enjoy an old favorite pal walk go. down memory lane dad grass will leave you in a euphoric mood get the credence out uh, go to the garage. Maybe hit a sticks concert. Work on the Camaro. Uh-huh. Do some some bench presses or something <laughs> yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Like a twister, I was born to walk alone. Doobies without the goobies. <laughs> All right, I like it. Dadgrass. <laughs> right now, Dadgrass is offering our listeners 20% off your first order when you go to dadgrass.com slash garbage. Go to dadgrass.com slash garbage for 20% off your first order. Want more time? Write it down. Dadgrass.com slash garbage. Now back. To the show. show. Uh, let's get into some questions here. Let's talk here. business. My eating habits. <laughs> this is hard feeling. We got to do a hard feelings after this, too. This is more. Hard feelings is more of a you're gross kind of podcast. Mm. Uh, all right. Let's get into some questions here. This one I've honestly never thought of. This is from a guy named King. Ooh. Do you pronounce it 20 or 20? I'm a 20. I'm with a CH. 20. Twenty dollars. Twenty. It's twenty bucks. Yeah. What's what's the what's the opposite? It would be twenty twenty with a T T W twenty 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 twenty. I don't hear the difference. <laughs> Tw- how do you? How would you say it, T Bone? I would say twenty. 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 Give me twenty bucks. Twenty. That's a T W. Okay. I say, I say twenty. Like C H twenty. 20? twenty. 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 Bu- that's what I say. Give me twenty. It's twenty bucks. Let me get twenty on pump two. 20. I do. I do. I never thought about it. That sounds like a guy who runs a card game. <laughs> going maybe, over to 20s. He's going over. Maybe you do have herpes. C H W E N T Y. 20. No. 20. Tw- Give me 20 bucks. Give me 20 on two. I, the way I see it in my head is, C, C, there's, a, it's like U N E Y. 20. Sounds like something weird Subway would make. <laughs> 20. Let me get a six inch 20. <laughs> Let me get a 20 inch 20. <laughs> Call it a fucking day. Um, trash. Yeah, that's trash. 20, if you're saying 20, it's trash. If you're uh, saying it's CH, right? Yeah. All right. <laughs> so you admit you're garbage. Yeah, I got a career based on it. What are you talking about? <laughs> Although Nike's not garbage. Check it out, <laughs> Nike.com, folks, for all your That's got needs. Marshalls written all over it. No. There was only one of those in the store. No, I got this at uh, Foot Locker. I went to Marshalls the other day. That place is... When I went there to get socks. What are you doing in there? Socks. I really? Went to the Gap, Marshalls? Got... Why? I went to the Gap, got some new socks, and it's right next get to it. Get socks at, like, the fucking drugstore now. Pick them up at CVS. Yeah, I don't... I mean, I was right next to a fucking... Marshalls? You live near a Marshalls? There's a Marshalls and a Gap. Factory outlet, that is. Mm. What does that mean? They make it there? What's going on? <laughs> right off the press. <laughs> it's coming on a conveyor belt. Jeans I ju- are still warm. I jump in them. <laughs> I want to wear these out. Um, uh, all right. Did you ever? All right. This is from Tim uh, Tim Monroe. Did you, do you or did you ever own anything with a fake autograph on it? Uh, baseball glove. <laughs> Who signed it? Herbie Hancock? Who was it? <laughs> John Mayer. It was weird. <laughs> That's all I had on me. Who signed it? Or who fake signed Bruce it? Bruce Sutter. Of the Sutter it, home we, family? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shout out to Nisi. It's just engraved in there, like when they sell it to you. Oh, that's not a fake. Okay. What do you mean fake? I guess if you had like, you know, you got like a fucking Bon Jovi headshot and it was not you signed. You just signed it yourself? Not you, but I assume, you know, you bought it and fa- realized it wasn't real or something. Uh, no, Any sort bullshit. of fake autograph. Were nah. you an autograph family? Get the fuck out of here. We weren't. We weren't even a big memorabilia family. We have our claim to fame is that all-star baseball that's signed by like Terry <laughs> Mulholland or somebody. <laughs> <laughs> Jim Francona and Terry Mulholland. Oh, I got that. Like It was like the 92... All star game. The only like, time that we ever autograph seeked was uh, we were in Philadelphia airport going somewhere, and Michael Spinks 
You remember Michael Spinks? He was a heavyweight boxer. Yeah. Was was eating in the food court next to us. Are you going to finish your macaroni salad? <laughs> I got four hungry kids over here. <laughs> and my mom recognized him and went up. Ask Just him out. Say that. <laughs> But he got tuned up like two days later. Yeah. He was gearing up for a big fight. He got laid the fuck out. <laughs> that was it for the autographs. <laughs> Maybe the fanatic. The Philly fanatic can't sign an autograph. How's he, he going to hold the pen? I don't know. I thought he did. <laughs> I told the story before, but he jumped on our car one time. You? J- he jumped on your car? Yeah. Dri- we were driving through Public Square in Wilkesbury. It was like a... A festival. Sounds and more like you hit there. him. <laughs> 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 Sounds a little more like Patty. Patty had a couple of spritzers in her. Drove on to a t-ball game and took out the fanatic. Hey, listen, dickhead, keep your mouth shut, all right? If you know what's you good. You ever want to play this down again? <laughs> no, why? Were you an autograph kid? No, I just said that was the only thing we had, and it was like, we would get shit... Uh, when my uh, my dad owned a company, and there was always like it was always like goth out and like shit like that, like you, where they would like auction something. He was always like getting stuff that like nobody. He'd be like, "Do you want?" And he'd be like, "I got this at a Auctions thing." Auctions are pretty trashy. Well, it was always for like a benefit. It was always it was always like some like you know plumber's kid died, and it was like the foundation or whatever, and he would go and donate money or whatever, or, like do the you know here you know the fifty fifty raffle here's a hundred bucks you know whatever, and he would always get like. They would get people to donate shit. Like, oh, here's a donated fucking Mike Schmidt hoagie sand. Dude, did I ever tell you Mike Schmidt used to have a hoagie shop in my hometown? <laughs> I ever tell you that? That just came roaring back to me. My dad despises him. The Schmidt? Oh. Why? Because he stinks hey, fuck in the- your mom. <laughs> <laughs> him and the fanatic. <laughs> I'm sorry. Fucking ba- dirt balls. I'm sorry, Patty. No, because he stinks in the booth. He does. He does. So he, do you. <laughs> he stinks on the announcements. Okay, so he hates them now. But yeah. back in the day, he was a player. No, I was young. I just remember going there and getting fucking cheese fries at fucking Mike Schmidt's hoagie shop. Was he what? Was he working there? <laughs> he wasn't behind the fucking grill, you idiot. <laughs> That's. It tough. was in our strip mall in uh, Richboro, Pennsylvania. Mike that was Schmitz. the only one because I'd never heard. I of think it. there was two. I had another oh. okay, probably in like Langhorn or Man. Levittown or something. Talk about blowing your cage. <laughs> yeah, he thought, like, do we, you're going to make millions of dollars off fucking hoagies, you idiot? Mike Schmidt Going toe to toe with Wawa? <laughs> no, he got some. Yeah. Think again, pretty boy. <laughs> I'll tell you that. Yeah. I remember going in there, though. Woo! Getting a mean fucking mean set of fries. I, would, I was too I didn't eat hoagies back then. I still don't really dapple. <laughs> Unless it's <laughs> you aren't riding the lightning yet. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't oh. eating hoagies. I was. I've been eating hoagies since I can remember. <laughs> yeah, you've been smelling like them too. <laughs> Get them in the crib, dude. The first result for Mike Schmidt's hoagies on Google is an article from 1995. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Probably closing or something, dude. Two eggs, any style, served with home fries, bacon, and toast. One ninety nine. What are we doing? Oh, God God. Damn. Well, fucking shout out to the Schmidt family. Those deals are out of the park. <laughs> <laughs> the foul ball special. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you, you just got your four of the ball. Why don't you walk down to Mike Schmidt's <laughs> and get yourself some hash browns? <laughs> 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 Try the dugout fries. <laughs> Batter up on these beer battered French fries. Oh man! Shout out to the Schmidt family. Man, he's still cooking. You think? I mean, he's still alive. What do you mean? Is Mike on? Schmidt alive? I just told you he's in the booth. Oh, is he? Yeah, he, he's a, he's an announcer for NBC Sports Philly. <laughs> okay. With Tom McCarthy. <laughs> John Crock. Shout out to the Crockster. Yeah, one one nut Crock. I was prime age. John Crock lost a testicle. No, I had no idea about that. I I don't know if we ever talked about this. It was the ca- he was the catcher, right? He was the catcher for the Phillies throughout the nineties. No, he was the first baseman. First baseman. 
uh, for the catcher throughout the night for the Phillies throughout the nineties, and I must have been about eight when it made fucking public news that he lost a testicle. He had to get one removed. Are you, Toby, give me a goog on that because I don't know if that's even true. One nut crook. <clears throat> because there was also a story in Philly about Jerry Penicoli that he had a gerbil up his ass. <laughs> that was, was Richard Geary, idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Would, what, what was the dude's full name? Uh, John Cruck. It should be K R U C K. You don't know who K- John Cruck is? He was homeschooled. What do you want from him? <laughs> Playing kickball by himself. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I got a home run and threw myself out of first. John Cruck, one testicle. He's got it. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yep. Hmm. Was it cancer? No, water skiing accident. <laughs> <laughs> Catfish jumped up, yanked it right out of a sack. Yeah, also, I wasn't a big Phillies guy in 1992. <laughs> My bad. It's a golden year for him. Shout out to the Phils. So, 92, yeah, I was like six or seven when that, and that, as a joke, as some public figure losing a testicle. Woo-wee! That made for a lot of laughs on the playground. Well, around the same time, Jerry Penicoli. Do you know who Jerry Penicoli is? No. He's kind of like an entertainment, uh, you know, anchor, reporter, you know, journalist or whatever you want to call it. But he started out in Philly. And he was the Philly. He was one of the Philly anchors. And this rumor went around that he had a gerbil up his butt. That happened to everybody, though. Why was Why were the 90s like that? That was a Richard Gere had that. Dude, the, the, the John Cruck thing goes way deeper. <laughs> Big testicles all over this thing. <laughs> Dude, no. He was hit in the balls by a teammate and then went to get a check by the doctor, and that's when they found the cancer. Ooh. Whoa. That's a goocher. Look at that. Thank God. That's fucking cool. Love the Cruxter. Shout out to the Cruck. Mm-hmm. Um, all right. Let's see here. Um, this one's just funny. This is from Toadie's Goodies. Has anyone in your family renewed their <laughs> vows? <laughs> Back it up. Toadie's Goodies. goodies. <laughs> that might be some merch coming soon. That's pretty fucking good. Ooh, if we started doing like edible arrangements, Toadie's Goodies. Toadie's Goodies. <laughs> like that. Toadie's Goodies. Just lifesavers. Has anyone in your family renewed their vows? To me, that's TV shit. That's like sitcom shit or movie shit. Or you cheat it. Is that what that is? That's what's never fucking... What? Come on. I don't know. I've never done it. You have to renew your license. It's not because you're doing People great. in my family cheat. They get divorced. It's easy. <laughs> I don't know. That's weird. Yeah. I wouldn't... Att- I don't think I would attend. <clears throat> if one of my uh, cousins or someone's like, hey, we're renewing our vows, I'm like, I'll see you at the reception, and you ain't getting a gift. Yeah, they get the fuck out of here. Kick rocks with that. Yeah. It better be... If it's a cash bar, you're definitely not Chocolate getting Chocolate fountain better be flowing when I get there. Yeah. That's whack. I never understood that. I, yeah, I don't get it. I don't get it either. Toby, you have, you have any experience anything like that? Why would you ask him a question when you know he's not on the mic? I didn't realize it. <laughs> uh, no, nah, no one in my family's ever done that shit. No, that's whack. Yeah. Renewing your vows. That's it's a, always yeah, like I, in the backyard. I, I guess if you wanted to do it for yourself, you know what I mean? Like say like. But why? Just, What's the point? I just think it's like, you know, it's it's like, you know. Uh, but why do you got to drag other people to no, it? That, no, saying? that's what I'm saying. Take, don't do, take her on a trip. Yeah, don't Get do a that. fucking cruise. Don't, yeah, this, Have that, a threesome. I don't fucking know. That's what I'm saying. Don't I, involve me on a Saturday. If you want to do it for your own, like, hey, let's just, you know, kind of check back in after 25 years and do this nice thing or whatever, just for yourselves, for sure. Fucking keep me out of it. Don't invite me. Lose no. my address. Yeah, no I'm not shit. fucking going. Yeah, watch you stand under, you know, some fucking... Some, like, gazebo and fucking talk to some whore that you've been banging for 25 years. Jesus. Sorry, I don't know what that was about. Crude painting of love. <laughs> <laughs> I would assume there's some kind of etiquette with that. Like, I don't think... There's no way presents are... That's a fucking cash grab if, 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 if you're expecting presents. No, there's no way. I mean... Also, but if you're hemmed up and you need an influx of it's cash, not a bad dirt not bag move. Not a bad dirt bag move. I change my stance on this. Renew yeah. your vows if you need it. Renew yeah. your vows. Juice up a little bit. Yeah. And also a lot of or you know, throw, you down, throw yourself down the stairs like a gentleman. Get a GoFundMe <laughs> going. Also, too, be a man about it. I do think there's a lot. You know, myself included. There's a lot of people out there looking for excuses to party. So if it's like people are like, "Hey, we're going," you know. We can go here, get all banged That's up. That's an anniversary party. Yeah, we're having a big anniversary party. I wouldn't want to go to your anniversary party. Really? Oh, I've been to some fucking bangers. I don't think so. Oh, yeah. When you were a kid, two things I looked forward you to. You were going to, pay, uh, you were going to 
adults anniversary parties yeah. as a kid? Yeah. That seems like swinger shit to me. I don't. That doesn't make sense. Anniversary? I've never heard of anybody having an anniversary party. I might have played around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> no, the things I remember, holidays, obviously, but all of my aunts, uncles, mom, and dad's 40th birthday parties. That's when, a little when different. they all turned 40. I remember ooh, that. The fucking party trays were flowing. I knew something was up because I didn't get invited to my mom's. It was an adult affair. Oh, man. Yeah. I was with uh, I was with my dad on that one. Yikes! Yeah, didn't get invited. Yeah. Wow. I no kids went. That was the problem with our our our, our family so big. And we've t- like I talked about this like with the, there's you have to draw hard lines in the sand based on the venue and like what you want the thing to be. And if it's like if you're inviting, yeah, they don't want your fucking big head there gumming up the work trying to get loose. Exactly. Well, if it's like well if you're gonna bring the kids, they still do it now. Like hey, it's just. Like cousins only, or it's like just sure. just parent, like it's just the aunts and uncle tears are going, and like that's just all you know. That's what it was, and I guess they probably wanted to party about some fucking kids, you know, do some poppers and stuff. There was always like risque cards being thrown around at those things. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like you'd open the card, like a huge dick would come out. Oh yeah, or something. <laughs> <laughs> where, you, where would you get one of these cards? <laughs> You know, all the balloons were black, like over the hill and stuff. Yeah. I didn't know what the fuck. There that was shit always meant. like some sexual innuendo jokes going, yeah. like, "Hey, weren't you the guy who, you know, or whatever, you know, type thing?" Yeah. The sexy cards you get at Spencer's gifts. Have too. you ever been to a family party where a stripper or what? Or dancers? <laughs> no, I I went to some dirt bags. Something. I was a kid. I don't even know who we were. I don't know. I don't know this guy. <laughs> I think it was like a wedding or something. It was at a fucking VFW or a roller skating pal. I forget where it was. You get mad or get a roller skating rink. <laughs> Shout out just, to the skating pals on the bully. Just kill each other now. <laughs> I can't tell if you can't remember or you're just trying to cover your tracks. No, I can't remember. I, re- I genuinely can't remember. Um, I remember a dancer. I remember a male. I remember a male what? dancer. <laughs> I swear to God, I remember a male dancer at was one of my aunts. You never forget your first true love. <laughs> Wait, a male shout out, dancer. Shout out to Randy the cop. Huh? <laughs> that's where, that's where, guilty. <laughs> that's where my love of law enforcement started. Son of a bitch, never fixed the cable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I don't know why. A male dancer at a family party? This was the 80s, man. No, it doesn't matter. It doesn't <laughs> I'm matter. You. It was at, because uh, we, we lived in Townline at the time. I don't, our, our, think, it, I don't think it was at the mayor's house. <laughs> <laughs> we lived in Townline, which was a rental community, and they had a pretty tight clubhouse by the pool. You know, the. <laughs> there's two stripper poles in there. <laughs> but I remember they had a party, and a dancer came. He didn't strip or anything. It, but, was, it was his day off. But I, I definitely remember like a cousin or somebody sitting down and him dancing for her. And like he had the radio and everything. <laughs> yeah, why the fuck was I there? I don't know. Let's get this party started. Anybody got any D batteries? <laughs> <laughs> He's going to be going around with the tip bucket. <laughs> Yeah, why the fuck was I there? <laughs> it looks like we Man. got some lawbreakers on our hands tonight. <laughs> Get better help on the phone. <laughs> Yikes. I remember one, too. I remember, you remember those, like, dance floors at, like, a VFW or what? Like, those halls, low drop ceilings and, like, the circle table. And then that dance floor was just in the middle of nowhere. There was, you know, it was all of a sudden just hardwood. Yeah. And fucking whore wood. <laughs> <laughs> Those things are trash. There was a girl. That's why they had to stop doing that shit because people were slipping and breaking their ankle. I guess it had to be a wedding. It's like a bowling lane. Yeah. And I remember that. I don't know the bride or the guy, but he was rooting around the dress looking for the garter or what oh, that whole that thing. is fucking. And I remember trash. being there like eight years old being like, dude, you're gonna let this dude do this to your girl. What the fuck? He just got married. He's already fucking setting the goods out. I never. I still don't get that as an adult. I don't understand that. No, nah, I think they stay kind of. They're, they're starting to get away from that shit. They don't really do that. My anymore. circles, they yeah, they wouldn't. I mean, if 
Say, the, say well, me and my wife had a big wedding. It's the best man. And my best man got under her dress in front of my my fat my un- uncle. But what the fuck? Like somebody be tuned up real quick for getting too fucking free. Like that's crazy talk. What is the best man takes takes he fucks it the bride? <laughs> <laughs> Prima nocte. Um, what is that, Toby? What is it? He takes the garter. It's she, the best man. I believe it's the best man. He goes in there, takes it. Doesn't he throw it to the rest of the dirt bags? I don't because know. I always remember my older cousins. Um, shout out to the Duck. Shout out to Flo. Their their squad getting married, and they what are they high school mascots? <laughs> <laughs> they would the they duck. would hang them. They would hang the garter in their car. Dude, I was just gonna say I remember being in one of my stepdad's friends' cars, like pickup trucks, and he had a black <laughs> one with white lace hanging. And I'm being like, I'm gonna throw up. I thought it was panties or something. Fucking I didn't know what it was. <laughs> Jumping up a little bit. Yeah, those things are real fucking sleazy. I don't know what's going on at your weddings, but the garter is supposed to be removed by the groom. Oh, well, we party down there <laughs> in the Delaware Valley. <laughs> we play ball a little differently in Wilkesbury, Pennsylvania. I'll tell you that. Yeah, they would hang them from the mirrors. Yeah, and oh. you would keep it. Mm. Yeah. I just smelled the pickup truck I was in. <laughs> fucking Winston's and fucking... Tend up pens oil. Oh, you know, dudes back in the day were in there fucking diddling around real quick before they got a hold of that thing. Those mechanic fingers. <laughs> Go underneath like an old camera. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sniffing around. <laughs> oh, God, that's trash. Oh, uh, yeah. Renew your vows. Yeah, it's a tough one. Man. Huh? All right, this is a home. This is from Dakota Brown. No any card tricks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're pulling the seven of spades out of someone's asshole. I know one magic trick that's actually pretty good. How to make a hoagie disappear? <laughs> <laughs> Come on, people. Folks, if I don't I, say them, who will? Yeah, I, I could do it for you. But I have to, I'd have to write something down. I don't know how that would play on, on camera for time. I know a pretty de- I know a couple pretty decent card tricks. Parlor tricks, yeah. if you will. Are you going to do it? I'm going to do it. Keep talking. Okay. I'm yeah, I know a couple it. couple ones, little razzle that, And, like, there's one where you think you're like, oh, I know. And then you're like, I don't know how you did that last fucking part. I did magic tricks at, oh a, my God. at a camp talent show. And it was like the first trick you learned out of the book. Zero applause. <laughs> hey, nerd, why don't you make yourself disappear, Yo, will you? <laughs> Bunk C was not impressed. <laughs> Here, my next trick, I'm going to go to the lady here. Uh, right. I'll do even worse. I did the devil sticks at a at a school. <laughs> I forgot about this. Devil uh, sticks? Yeah, I did the devil. I did a devil. All those. Yeah. <laughs> Did him where? <laughs> At a school or like camp uh, talent show. <laughs> you fat little bastard. Oh my God. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh huh. That's loser shit. Yeah, <laughs> I was pretty decent at them. I remember. But some- hold on, I didn't account for the light show that they were going to do. <laughs> My eyes. <laughs> Set yourself on fire, <laughs> dude. They hit. They hit that strobe light. I didn't know what the fuck happened. <laughs> Ah, God damn it, this fat kid just shit himself and had a seizure. Dude, I lost it up in the strobe light. It came down and hit me in the head the first big trick. <laughs> oh, uh, what a fucking goon. Uh, <laughs> Have you ever lunched it on like a school production or anything like that? He does it on here all the time. <laughs> I had a set fall apart during a school play. Oh, my God. <laughs> Union job. <laughs> That's why you go IATSE, baby. Oh, man. Uh, I'll never forget the panic of looking up in those strobe lights and the devil, the, the, the stick being up there and just seeing it like, you know, <laughs> fucking pump fake its way down to me. Being like, no way, I got this. <laughs> His father left soon after. <laughs> it was very, it was very lackluster. <laughs> Man, devil sticks. <laughs> I had the music. <laughs> what? 
<laughs> Sandstorm's blasting while you're picking it up and trying to get it back going. Oh, man. Did you recover? No, I still haven't. That's why I do this. Change schools. What are you talking about? His real name's O'Hallahan. <laughs> like I didn't try it with chainsaws that year. <laughs> I got we couldn't get the insurance approval. You get me a set. I'm going to buy a set of devil, and we'll put it on the Patreon. I'm I, pretty good. I remember this lady that babysat us. Oh, Toby's better. Oh, God. <laughs> Here we go. I remember this lady babysat us uh, when we were kids, and her boyfriend showed up and started doing that shit on the front <laughs> lawn. I was like, you, take that commie shit next door, bro. These colors don't run. My dad's going to come home and kick this shit out of you. Plus, I'm going to tell him you touched us. Get out of here with that. Yeah. All right, here's my here's my trick. Right. Okay, now I want you to think of a number between one and a hundred. Okay, sure. You have it. Yeah. Okay. Now I'm gonna put it on this piece of paper. Okay. Right here, mm-hmm. and I'm gonna hand it to you. Don't open it. I'm not gonna open it. Okay. Number between one and a hundred. Tell me what it is. Go. Thirty-seven. Thirty-seven. <laughs> Are you sure it wasn't 40? Yeah, this is you, Hammond. This is the Hollywood behind it. Oh, my God. Let me see if I can tap into the spirits. Hey, fatty, (laughs) shut it up and let me open this piece of paper. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Okay. You said 37. I said 40. Sure. Nah, I fucked it up. You have to do the math. Hey, let's meet in the middle or something probably, right? Dude, dude, I... Hey, what are you, fucking Johnny Two Times trying to fucking blow me up? I'm working here, dickhead. <laughs> this is fucking Christ. Well, if the joke depends on you doing math, I think we're fucked. I'm the mass magician. Open it up. What does it say? I said, you said 37, I said 40. Call the proctologist. <laughs> <laughs> I got a rabbit stuck up my ass. What's it say? I'll be off by three. <laughs> Pretty good, huh? Sure. I was off by three. Yeah. Did you get it? Sure. Yeah, yeah. I don't did know you how you it? did it. Well, good magician never tells. <laughs> <laughs> You're stunned right now. You don't know what to do. Not really. I mean. I'm in your head. <laughs> I'm just trying to remember if you said 40 after he said 37. It doesn't matter. He did. <laughs> no, I didn't. Yeah, you said pick a number between one. I said thirty-seven. You go, okay, I'll say forty. Yeah. Oh my god. So what? I just always, I'm just whatever you say. I say I say three more, three less, and I write down on the piece of paper. I'll be off by three. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got it. There you go, kids. I mean, I didn't really think you were fucking. You know, I didn't think this was a Ouija board. All right, ready? Go Look ahead. inside your underwear. <laughs> They've been wet today. I got to be honest. Ew. I'm kidding. Yeah, a little pit's going, too, underneath the thing. Sure. Can I take a peek? <laughs> oh, my God. I like how you thought that was going to get a laugh, so you hammed it up. Even. Oh, my God. You're sweating and probably have poop in your underwear as we speak. And you know it. <laughs> it's like the, it's, it's like it's like hey, psychology you're, 101. You're, like, oh, my God, look how fat this guy is. You're rude my next trick. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me fill my underwear with a dump. <laughs> <sighs> For my next trick, I will shit in my pants. <laughs> That's terrible. <clears throat> no, I don't know any magic tricks. Other than that one, which is great. You guys can use it. <laughs> Matt Richards actually taught me that. <laughs> Took me about three weeks to figure it out. Oh, three. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty good. I don't know if that's against the magician's code, but I just did there. My life could be in danger. <laughs> 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 I think the heart disease is the most is the, is the biggest thing we need to worry about. Not a bunch of virgins coming after you. Um, all right, let's see here. Let's uh, this one we've talked about, but this is Kelly. This is the first question. Uh, have you ever taken the bottle of wine you brought to a party home with you because you've never opened it? That's a fucking no no. That's a gift to the host. That's a gift to the house. It's crazy. Yeah, that's it's fucking cuckoo cuckoo bananas. It's crazy. That's not our kind of garbage around here. Yeah. Even if you don't drink, show up with something. Of show course. up, yeah. Show up with some, show up with chocolates, flowers, a dildo, whatever. I don't care, you know. But yeah, yeah you can't you be never doing take that. it back. You can't take it's a gift to them. Unless uh, yeah, No, there is yeah, there's no unless. Because there's there's been people who've said that. Kelly Keegs, I believe, is guilty of this. She'll take the bottle of wine home with her. Yeah, that's no bueno. Yeah. 
No good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. You leave it, stays there. Yeah. Uh, now, I have encountered the flip side of that, where you bring a nice bottle of wine, where you intend it for the party, but the host sees that it's a nice bottle of wine. Hides it off. And fucking puts it away for later. Sure. That's a dirtbag move. Yes. Yeah, 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 for yeah. sure. I'm, I, yeah, for sure, for sure. You can't be doing that. It's no. for the party. It's for that night. It's, it lives and dies that night. Um, all right, this is from Dion Sandals, home run of a name. Uh, long-time patron, never had a question read. <clears throat> Ever put a stereo or boombox in the backseat of your car to play music because the radio doesn't work? I've done this in the Tigo. I would do this with a Bluetooth speaker, with a Bose Bluetooth. I would put it on the dashboard. Within the past year, I've done that. Probably, you know, put it on the dashboard, fucking cooking off that thing. And I remember this. We were at a stoplight, and a guy looked over and saw it, and was just like, it was a level of shame that just ran through my body. It's a little more prevalent now because they got the earbuds. But I used to see people driving around with their headphones on. Yeah, which I thought was illegal. Has to be. Yeah, has to be. It can't be. I can't be. Legal. You got those disc man fucking headphones on. The ones that like stick out and go in your ears, that's man. That's Remember it. the wraparound headphones when they dropped? Remember <sighs> when it was here and then it went behind the head? Yeah, they were like the Sony Walkman or Vio or Vio or whatever. Those things dropped. The kids would walk in when they were like red or blue. I just had those bullshit ones with the foam on them. Oh, the man. one didn't work. Those ones with the foam. Good luck getting them in there. Oh yeah, that fucking. They would st- always fall out. That fucking stunk. I had one of the first Walkmans. Because for some reason, my mom worked at the Gap. They were giving them away, and we had them. It was just a radio. Mm-hmm. Pretty cool, though. Yeah, I remember my buddy had one. And then I, the only disc man I proper owned. Those yellow disc men, when they hit. The Walkman. No, I'm talking about. Oh, the, the disc man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. things were like, that was. That was money. That was rich people That shit. was money. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You had to work at Merrill Lynch or something like that to get those. I never, and like. There was such a disconnect between technology and my parents that if I was like, hey, I want a new bike or something, you know what I mean? They'd be like, OK, like we they get that. But like or like, hey, you know, I need a, I, I need a new hockey st- or something or a baseball bat. They understood that. But like to go to that because that was when technology started cooking. Yeah. To be like, I want a disc man. They would be like, what the fuck? So the only one I won a, a raffle in like sixth grade at like. The fucking something, and it came with a disc man. Not a disc man, like a generic CD player disc man. A raffle. Yeah, it was like for like school or something. It was like a f- something, I don't know. Guess the jelly beans? Yeah, it was, it was probably something along those. I won something at school. I don't, know if I, I don't remember what it was. And like it came with that, and it was green. And it was like, it just didn't. Sucked. And, 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 and that was when everybody was cooking with the skip proof. The fucking, you know, the five second delay or whatever, dude. I and I had to like, I had to walk with mine like, like it was a fucking full thing, full, full champagne flute, just fucking walking with it, so it wouldn't fucking bounce. Yeah, you couldn't listen to it in the car, go over a speed bump, you got all hemmed up. Bad. To the parents out there, either get them, either get them the right thing or don't get them at all. It's a worse. It damages the psychology of the child if you get them the fucking knockoff. The knockoff, yeah. Just go like, oh, yeah, do you have an iPad? No, it's worse to be like, I have a, you know, a B-pad or whatever. They're like, get the fuck out of here with this. Because I remember I I wanted a skateboard one year, and I got a um, a Nash. We've talked about this a handful of times. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, still think about it. I told you I went to the... Whole life could have been different. I went to the skate shop to get get new trucks. Laughed you out of there. Yeah. It's Off a look. It's a it's it's a level of confidence sucks you out. It mm-hmm. Sucks your whole life out. Of you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, it's true though. Uh, also, one we've touched on, uh, but new patron never had a question read. Did your parents ever bring their own nips on a flight to make their own cocktails versus buying the flight attendants? Never. Parents didn't booze like that. I didn't bring a bottle of either, Kahlua down the shore or something Either like did that. mine. Uh, my stepdad recently, they went on a cruise like a couple of years ago. And like he had like an elaborate bladder system and like hanging up in his tux or whatever. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah. Like Jesus. To, get, to get booze on. One, he likes the booze. Wait, Two, I thought all that shit was free on cruises. Not booze. I don't think the food is. 
but I don't think the booze, that's where they get you because you, you can only buy the booze there. Do you really want to save a couple hundred bucks for that? I don't get that shit. Yeah. I used to have a buddy that used to do that. I think we talked about it. He would, he would, he would bring a backpack to bars where they got wise to it, and he'd have like a fucking handle of Captain Morgan in there. Yeah, I never did that. No. There may or may not be an older gentleman in my family who had the flip-flops that you could put booze in Whoa. that would bring them to baseball games. Wow. The flip-flops? What was it like? Like the reefs. Yeah, and like you could fill up the bottom of the reef oh, with yeah. booze. Yeah, I remember whoa, 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 whoa. It was like the, 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 the flip-flop itself was a container? That is correct. Ugh. What the fuck? How bad were you at Little League? <laughs> fucking, Jesus Christ. Yeah, flask sandals, they're called. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. That. That's fucking bad news. None yeah. of that shit. Yeah, look. That's fucking so gross. Yeah. Well, whatever. Little Tim, bird shit just, chaser. What stuff the f- sterile, you know what I mean? It'll fucking sanitize anything. Ugh. Um, all right, let's see. Uh... This is from Haywood. Ever put water in condiments, ranch, ketchup, because there wasn't enough to squeeze out and you still wanted to get your money's worth to make it stretch? That ruins the condiment for me. Ruins uh, it. I've done it, but I, I use milk. Mm, but, like, what? Like, I would, I, I, you would think, like, a couple of draw. Like, it can't be water. Water, you put watery ketchup on something, ruins the fucking omelet. Not ketchup, but I, I've made uh, blue cheese dressing and ranch dressing disappear. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, stretch a little further with a little bit of whole milk. Yeah. Shake it up a little bit. That's not for Maybe me. Maybe a little salt, a little pepper, a little olive oil. Mm-mm. Just kind of do your thing. That's not for me. Hey, I, man. I can't, I, can't, I can't get away with that. Um, let's see. Uh, okay, that was Haywood. Uh, this one from JT. Never had a question read. Any friends or family currently saving money for new teeth? It's bad when you got a tooth fund. That's a tough one. It really is. I get it. You're trying to better Are you yourself. You talking about implants? Just says new teeth. I don't know. It says new teeth. <laughs> you got molars on layaway. <laughs> I, I did. Have I got a, a couple incisors. I did have a couple of friends' parents who didn't do well and then started doing well and got the adult braces. Yeah, that's man trying to listen to somebody's dad yell at you with fucking rubber bands in his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you! Holy shit! Where were we? He was a guy working somewhere. It was a girl. No, it was a kid. And he had the front braces. Ooh, he scared the shit out of me every time he opened it. He was like our point man somewhere to be like, hey, there's our waiter or something. Or no, it was, a, it was a, a waitress we had at uh, Twin Peaks in, in Texas. She had braces on. No, but there was a kid somewhere that I was just, I think he was like a waiter or a bartender. And every time I forgot because I was boozing. And he runs out. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Looked like a he looked like a Bond villain or something. Shoot your cell phone. <laughs> yeah, it was a yeah. fucking tough one. I mean, but I I I respect that you're better in yourself, 100%. especially after the front teeth and you're 100%. like, hey, I want to get my fucking act together. Sure, you know what I mean. Invisalign though. Well, it, that's different than new teeth. New teeth in, indicates like rotted or missing or not there. Mm. That that you know, or like real fucking jacked or where you're gonna get the veneers. Oh. Yeah. Trash. Um, all right, this one's from Kyle. And I forgot about these. Have you ever rented or owned a Jerry Springer, Jerry Springer Triple X tape or DVD? Do you remember those? No, I don't That's remember a him. Dip- so Jerry Springer had a set of DVDs. You get to or- see the boobies when they ripped each other's shirts. Yeah, off. it was like the real fucking sexy stuff, like the, the, the too hot for TV type stuff. No, but I got caught up in a couple, couple of knockers hanging out. I got caught up in a couple of Girls One Gone Wild videos. Man, those things. Dude, that fucking infomercial would do it for me. <laughs> there was a there was a blonde girl in fucking Arizona who had my number. <laughs> Big set of cans on her. <laughs> yeah, man. That was <clears throat> those things were scandalous. Did you ever watch them? I'm telling you, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? What do I gotta do here? Put myself in jail? I'm admitting it. Yeah. yeah, there's some lake down in Texas. I don't know. <laughs> fucking Whore Lake or something. I don't know what it was. But these kids were fucking partying. Yeah. All the boats go out 
and they that's in I don't I think that's in Arizona like ha- like Havasu and stuff like that. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know where it was, <laughs> but, but we're going. Oh, good lord! Yeah, those you know, God bless. That was also that guy got the shit. I don't know if you ever heard that guy got the what was coming to him. A lot right. of that was like they didn't know or they were drunk or they can you know they didn't really realize that it was going to go nationwide. Really? It was. Oh, what it was the fuck. It was dicey, and then a dad. I could have this story wrong, but a dad whose daughter got like exploited on it Jesus. and like lost her job or kicked out of college. Something what? happened. He went and fucking like tuned him up. But like even we might have even talked about this. He like tied him down and sodomized him and shit. It was like, yeah, we did not talk about. He this. really went after it. That I'm pretty guy, sure because uh, they made a law and order about it. <laughs> they make a law and order about it. It's, it's, they what was that true. dude's name? Wasn't he? In, he was. T Bone's gonna have it. Joe Francis. Ah. Three million dollars he had to pay. Joe Francis. Yeah. Is the guy the owner of it? Right. Wasn't he like a personality for a little while? I yeah, believe so. He yeah. was in the videos and stuff. Like, <sighs> hey, what's up? I'm Joe. I didn't know any of that. Yeah, sure enough. I course. never saw it. <laughs> I'm telling you, man. <laughs> um, and then Damn didn't it. didn't he get like his home got broken into and he got all jammed up? No pun intended. Yeah, yeah, something like that. He, he went to jail. Yeah. Damn. I don't know all the... De- yeah, let's not get into all the gory details, <laughs> but uh, that guy got jammed up. Rightfully so, I believe, if my recollection of the story yeah, is right. correct. Yeah, that's right. That's what you get. Punk. Yeah, but I never owned any of those. I never... I bought them. Can you come across those? Yeah. Somebody's dad got a couple in them, fucking got caught slipping. Yeah. He took the heat for it when it showed up, and the wife yelled at him. Mm-hmm. And it somehow ended up in the basement. Sure. And the scavengers came over. Yeah. Um, Pick clean. <laughs> All right, this one's from Bryce. Uh, have you or anyone in your family ever put your own hair on a plate at a restaurant to get discount slash meal for free? No, no, that's, I mean, that's crazy. I feel like I would be the one that got caught doing that. Yeah, then you're that guy. Ugh, Fucking banned from Mickey D's. If I ever saw my dad do that. Oh. That would I would yeah. We were never like bozo. we were never even like get some we're not a complaining family. Mm. We're fucking head down, keep your fucking mouth shut. If you don't like it, it's gonna you know, we'll vent about it on the ride home. But I we're can not... tell you about the two the only two times in the history my forty five years with the Foley family, great mm-hmm. organization. <laughs> They've had their problems. Only twice has my family complained in a restaurant. And once is when my father took a big swig of sour milk at a at a uh, cracker barrel. Two, my brother almost swallowed an industrial staple in a place called Hungry Pilgrim and an Apple Cobbler. That we took for a ride. <laughs> All the free desserts you can have. <laughs> um... Oh, but, they're, they're, I swear to God, they're the only two times we have. Now, we'll fucking trash the place in the car. Yeah, of course. All right. Of course. But no, never. Yeah. Can't do it. The only time. Don't have the confidence. No, we're not confident people. Um, The only time. Shut up. You'll eat at home. My mom would get a little. The, Su- the Sullivans are a fucking kooky bunch. They can fly off the handle from I'm time familiar. to time. And. Uh, <laughs> She would l- lose it from time to time. Not in a bit, be- never in like a, in a just way. I remember the one time we were flying fucking East Wind Airlines, now defunct, East Wind. I remember we were waiting. <laughs> this fucking plane pulls up. It's got a bumblebee on it. And my brother's like, I ain't getting on this fucking plane. Like, no fucking way. So, Is this tailspin? So we have, to, we have to do an emergency landing. Not because of the gear or anything. They were right out of gas. The, something happened. There was a fuck. I forget. We landed in Georgia. We're going to Florida. We landed in Georgia, and this guy started complaining. Rightfully so, because like we stopped and they're like, "Oh, we need to check something." And then they let other passengers on who got stranded. It was like real fucking. Jesus. It was a low budget airline trying to make it work, and it you know because like their other a pl- pool airline. It was yeah. It was an Uber pool, so it was like a tough luck. And then this guy started screaming. He's like, yeah, what the fuck's going on here, you motherfuckers? Like, let's fucking Why go. Why do people freak out on airplanes? It's stressful. You know, you know you're know, you fucking tense. What if you don't like flying? You're tense. And then you're like, dude, we were over Florida, and we turned back around to go to Georgia. Like, this guy could be like, I don't know. He could just be going to get fucking high and drunk with his buddies, or he could be going to a business meeting 
He could be going to fucking, he could be missing a wedding. He could be, you know, his kid could be being born something. He still acts like an adult. I mean, I understand if they leave in a tarmac for like five hours and it's fucking 100 degrees or whatever. But sure. I, yeah, I, 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 whatever. I don't know. He's, he's, he starts fucking shooting off at the mouth. Then the flight attendants get involved. Then the cops come on, like the local Georgia police. It's when the lip dries up. And he, nah, he's going. It's a really? thing. He's going, you fucking motherfucker. And then, like, he had gotten into it with another passenger, and they started, like, gripping the other passenger up to, like, get him out of there, and they were leaving the problem guy. Ooh. And Denise did not like that. What are you doing? Yeah, it's him. He's the one. And we were like, easy, easy, niece. Easy does it. I'm not fucking getting you out of Hawk in fucking Greensboro, <laughs> Alabama. <laughs> yeah. Working the chain gang for the weekend. <laughs> I'm trying to go to Disney. Get my fucking Epcot on. <clears throat> yeah, they'll get a little hairy. Um, well here, oh, that was the food, food restaurant for free. Trash. Right. Let's do one or two more. Now we got a bug. We got a bug. Trash. This one I don't even understand, but I got a lot of likes on Patreon. Ever, this is from Jake. Ever scratch an itch with your teeth? I guess if what yeah. What the fuck? Oh, it makes sense. Yes, I have. Ooh. Yeah, I'll go to any length to satisfy an itch. A fork, a hanger, right. the remote. Yeah. Do it work. in a hotel? What do you do with that hotel remote? Do you take it out of the sleeve? You take it out of the protective sleeve or you leave it in there? Dude, that thing's... That thing's got fecal matter on it for <laughs> sure. I used uh, one of the hotels. I, ha I had an itch and I couldn't reach it. And that was like the middle of the night and I grabbed the thing and it was right... On the side of my of my left thigh in the back, near the butt cheek, I scratched it with that. It works in a pinch. Toby, can we cut that? Jesus Christ. That's why you get these little Roku remotes. They don't do shit. <laughs> I, need a, I need a Toshiba big boy. <laughs> Remember those? The big man oh, pajamas? Yeah. Yeah, those things were all right. Great. Um, size of a phone. All right, let's see here. Right, let's do two more. And this is from Joshua. I'm not even sure I understand this, but he's been asking it for a little while. Ever bummed a Bernie off a homeless guy? I don't even, that would never even cross my mind. You're hemmed up if you're borrowing something from a homeless guy. Maybe he might not be talking homeless. He might be talking more like a street guy, which is a little different. But I'm thinking like tattered have. rags, like shopping cart posted up on... Like under an overhang or something. Those guys never have smokes on. That's them. what I'm saying. They're always asking me for burns. Where's this guy live? Well, the homeless guy's got burns. <laughs> I know you must. Yeah, must you... be a nice part of town. <laughs> you're not in a great spot if you're b bumming anything off a off a homeless guy. Mm -mm. Um, all right, and then we'll get out of here on this one. Um, this was from Al, and we've talked about this briefly. But when making a PB and J, do you use separate utensils for the PB and the J, or the same? Like, mm. everybody knows I'm a peanut butter man through and through. I don't do the J, strictly PB. But if I go over your house and there's jelly in the fucking peanut butter, or I'm upset first. about that. Yeah. yeah, I'm upset. I'm really upset. It just goes to show that you're, it's not sanitary to me. As a child, I believe my mother's move was knife, butter knife for the peanut butter. Spoon. Teaspoon for the jelly. And yeah. she would spread the jelly with around. With the back of the spoon. With the back That's of the spoon. That's a fucking classy broad right there. Now, learn this trick. Two pieces of bread. Mm -hmm. You fucking peanut butter up to one, put it down. Then you take the, the, the plain one that you're going to put the jelly on and you clean the knife. Sure. <laughs> Give it a couple of those. Then scoop your jelly out, spread it on there, close your sandwich, Get your chips, your glass of milk, your pickles, sit down, put on the A team, and enjoy yourself. Yeah. That's out of laziness. You should do a spoon, though. Be a gentleman. Think so? Yeah, you're doing that out of laziness. You could also use a rag, but you're using I do the most bread. things out of laziness. I know. Which has led to some like great use, innovations. Like use my napkins. <laughs> <laughs> well, this was lovely. Yeah. Had a nice time with you. Yeah, it was great. Toby? I feel like you're breaking up with us. <laughs> well, listen, we've come to, you know, I just don't see it anymore. <laughs> Gang, we fucking love you. Woo, yeah, we do. Do yourself a favor. Do us a favor. If you're in the uh, Philadelphia area, October 27th, grab some tickets. Helium Comedy Club. It is going to 
sell out. It's going to sell out for sure. Also, New York City date being announced. New York City date being announced. I don't even know we were allowed to say that. I'm not, I, we might not be able to. What? But the agents haven't listened this far into <laughs> the episode for sure. <laughs> Gang, we're ending the year with a bang. We love you. Thank you for everything. Thank you for the love, for supporting us. Thank you for everybody that came to the Moon Tower Comedy Festival. All the Long live Island. shows. Amazing. We love you. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.